Whilst many people across the country are sick and tired of the ultra net zero measures, the Labour Party have sent out their business shadow secretary on TV to claim that these policies are popular and the Labour Party and Labour government will continue to support them. So we got a problem because uh, certain local authorities have been given too much power and mayors, like in London or Greater Manchester, uh, to push for uh, these sort of uh, net zero measures, uh, including low traffic neighbourhoods and uh, the low, uh, the ultra low emission zones, clear, clean air zones and many other nonsensical ideas. Uh, the central government are under pressure, so we have ministers fighting against it, even though it was the same government that advocated for net zero. So they are slightly confusing me right now. But uh, the Labour Party at least are more consistent. The local Labour councils and the National Labour Party are at least on the same page. But it's dangerous because what they believe in is quite uh, destructive. So Jonathan Reynolds, who is the Shadow Business Secretary, was on GB News being interviewed about this issue. And he just started ranting about nonsensical it, it, it stuff about how these policies are popular and uh, we've given these powers to local authorities and they should be able to um, dictate what people do every day. Jobs in the automotive sector, you want nearly two million more electric vehicles. That's obviously great news, but at the same time, I'm confused. If there are more electric vehicles on the streets, it means that air quality will improve. So why is the Labour Mayor Sadiq Khan proceeding with this ULES that is so unpopular with the people of Greater London? That's a good point. We actually mentioned this on this channel quite recently that uh, the whole problem with ULEZ is if you force everybody to change their car, even if they say yes, then the whole policy is redundant. You can't really charge them every day. So you're going to have to come up with the next plan, which he already has. Good morning, sir. There's some noise here. I couldn't quite hear that, but I think you were asking about the, the popularity of electric vehicles. Um, yes, they're very popular. That Most of the, uh, the highest level, I think, of electric vehicle uh, registrations were made in the sales last year. But this policy is about making sure we make them uh, in the UK, and that is fundamentally important. Without a battery, industry will not continue with our existing automotive sector. And for us, this is a massive opportunity the government is missing, and that's why we want the kind of industrial strategy, industrial policies that we see in other countries, but we don't see here, to make sure we've got a future for this sector he talks so fast oh my <laughs> so somehow the labor party have gone back to the gordon brown years of uh, british jobs for british people we are pseudo nationalists you're not nationalists you're just they're, they're saying this to be pretend to be left-wing populists oh. but mr reynolds i'm also asking about the unpopularity of ULES. Yeah. that's a labor mayoral po policy in london why if you're improving air quality with more electric cars do you need the ULEZ, which only penalises people who are working shifts, who have to drive around white, white, white vans and are therefore probably in a lower socio-economic group? Exactly. Well, the ULEZ uh, policy is a policy for the mayor. He's responsible for, for clean air. Local authorities and uh, combined authorities can be sued if the air quality isn't sufficient. And part of having directly elected mayors is so they can stand and fall by the policies they're putting forward. But I think cleaner air is an essential uh, health issue in the UK. We've seen the government mandate local areas to do it. And it's got to understand if it puts that mandate in place, local areas will respond to deliver that. And they're... Slow down, Jonathan. Slow down. If the air is a cleaner, term transition why? electric vehicles are cleaner, clearly. But if air is cleaner, yeah. why do you need also... a ULEZ? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, because there are lots of issues relating to heavier vehicles and how they're used, where you know, electric vehicles will not be the answer to that. There's a need to make that transition. To the way you want to just get rid of the, the larger vehicles. Hydrogen and fuel cells and all. This is all part of the process. <laughs> but you need incentives in place to do that. And I believe that is what the, the policy oh. of the London Labour Party and the mayor is uh, in place for that. And I think that the health benefits from clean air are very well understood. And I understand why he wants to promote those in the area he's elected and responsible. Oh, why do we even bother with these guys? Uh, the, the unfortunate situation is that the, the Labour Party could easily become our next government at this point. So uh, I have no idea how. The, this country still votes that way, but uh, it is what it is. It's the main uh, so-called centre-left party platform in this country. And uh, regardless of the fact that we have so many smaller left-wing parties, uh, they don't really split uh, each other's votes because uh, the smaller parties don't really have a full effect on the Labour Party during election, general election times because the, the majority of the leftists from 
the the liberal metropolitan types in Islington or Hackney, as well as the far left commies in Brighton and all the other and the trade unionists in the north of England and Midlands, they still get together and vote Labour, regardless of party leader and uh, party policy. So good luck with that, everybody in the country who do not want authoritarianism, do not want ultra net zero measures that are already being pushed by this so-called Tory government, is things are going to get even worse under Keir Starmer. Let me know what you think. I'm Maya Tusi, and we are the media.